Morning campers. It's a beautiful day here in Colorado. I'm Steve, I'm the new guy. Trans West Truck Trailer RV. Here to show you the Supreme Air. The big boy in the industry. You can notice the color scheme, amazing. The blue certainly pops with the gray, the white tones. Something I always point out, every coach I look at are the tires. Got to have bigger tires for a bigger chassis. You've got a big M2 12 chassis on the coach. You've got a big block Detroit diesel. It's 505 on the horsepower, 1850 on the torque. So it'll get you where you want to go. I'll take you through the coach systematically. I don't, we'll do the best we can do. We're going to muddle our way through it. So bear with me. You've got side cameras. You've got a full cameras around the coach. As we open up the compartments, they're all lit. You notice it has the chrome package on the bottom to keep any debris coming up when you hit it. Anything, keep your paint job looking good. It's a nice little cubby hole, I always say, for stuff. As we go to the next one, your Oasis hydronic heating system. I'll explain more about that inside. Service panel here. But the nice part in the heating system is that you'll never get cold inside, so the boss won't be yelling at you. And you're also not going to get warm inside with the three big ACs. That's a diesel or electric, runs on either or. Works out really nicely, very efficient. You carry over 100 gallons of fuel, you have 150 gallons of fresh, and you've got 60 on your gray and little less on your black. Those are your tanks. And I'll go through those again. You have the pegboard, which is on most all the Newmar product. That's a great place to put all your tools, extra diesel emission fluid, because you got to take that stuff with you. This has its own tank for it, but a lot of times you might be in a place where you might run out. Great place to put a couple of jugs right here and throw your tools there. It's a great thing that Newmar still keeps to it with their tradition. They've been doing that since forever. You have a TV up top. Hey, I left it open for a change. A nice Samsung, a brand you've heard of. You have the Bose sound bar. Very nice, you can be sitting outside enjoying your time. You get to relax, even though you might be pulling all your toys behind you, because you know you can pull up to 30,000 pounds. And I'll go through that again in a moment. But you got your outside entertainment center. You have the nice big awnings up above. Works out rather nicely for your time to enjoy the coach. They shut, you can lock this. So that way when you come out to the coach, if you open it again and you uh, get surprised, if you keep it locked when you're not using it, works out really well. These shut a lot easier. They made some adjustments. They stay shut, which is a good thing. You notice the flush mount on the slides, that's a Newmar. So that way you're not having any wind drag, you're not going to affect the rubber bulbs on the inside. You've got the extra cooler underneath, and you have extra storage, so if you like to go and get your fish, chicken, pork. I tried elk first for a change, that was amazing, and a stew. But you can put things underneath. Now I know you can take your favorite adult beverage underneath, and you got room for a bunch. Keeps it nice and cold for your lemonade, iced tea, or whatever you like. Then you can easily push it back. And you can keep the extra ones underneath and you can refill when you need. I don't know too many people that like a, a warm adult beverage, unless it's a hot toddy. Keyless entry on the in, inside, you got your doorbell. Little cubby hole for more stuff. It's all finished on the inside. They use things like screws to make sure they stay. They're not stapled in. Again, little things that Newmar does makes it so you can keep the coach as long as you want to. We don't mind if you trade them in every year, but you don't have to. 
You've got double dualies in the back. Those are your drivers. They put 295s on it. Extra heavy duty, extra beefy. Again, you've got a 505 horsepower, 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. That'll pull what you want. It'll do what you need. You notice it sits up so you have air on the coach. As you're walking past, you've got your trays for storage. You can put all your stuff that you want on the top. Easy to pull out. They put the extra pieces in in case you have an issue with slides. And then we give you a full orientation on how to use the coach in addition to me always being there. You can get to the central vac unit when you want to change the, the bags for it. Works out rather nicely. And again, you can fit what you need to here, but there is still more storage. As we open this one up, more storage, central vac, extra flooring, big chassis, so it's, I can't say indestructible, but it's darn close. As we come around to the back, there's that extra big hitch on the back, up to 30,000 pounds, and you won't feel it. You have the extra plugs for your trailer or for any vehicle you want to tow. That is beefy. You also have more storage underneath. I bet you can fit a fishing pole straight back and all your gear, more gear up here. As I mentioned, taking that extra diesel emission fluid. If the bigger jugs don't fit there, you got plenty of room here. You always have to have room for those extra things, those extra heavy tools. When we go inside, I'll tell you about what to put in your toolbox. I'm not Mr. Mechanical by any sketch of the imagination, but I've learned a few things from folks that gotten coaches from me so I try to share that information. Let me go back and shut a couple doors. Again you don't have to slam, they shut. Put the storage away, you just give it a little push, you just close it up here, works out nicely. Then this one, they shut, they stay, they clip closed. That's a nice feeling that you don't have to sit there and they redid some of the locking mechanism. You've got your backup camera on the back of the coach so you can see what's next to you on the side cameras and see what's behind you. As we open up, you have an extra plug should you need for trailers to keep things cool if you have things going in. Nice big storage area again with the extra flooring in case someone drops something and misses. A lot of stuff you can put in there. The problem is you have to figure out what stuff to put in. I never know what to tell people, but you'll figure it out and you'll find what you need. Big generator, they put a 12.5. That'll power everything in the coach. It's Onan, which is a Cummins company. Big diesel, quiet, gets full circulation of air, so it'll keep it cooling, it'll keep running. They're almost indestructible, but that'll power everything in the coach and then some. They step up on their, for the Supreme Air to the 12.5, so again, you've got plenty of power for your coach. And that stays shut. You notice the chrome package on the bottom, your double dualies. Then I always point out, again, you've got room for other things. You can put the gloves in there for when you're doing the dump station. You have another room for extra little things to put in. Alcoa's underneath. Again, they didn't spare. They made it so it's a nice, upgraded, I always try to say a bad you-know-what coach, but we're not supposed to use those words. Docking lights on the side, awning package on, over both windows. You have your side camera, so you have a full 360 camera view on the inside. It's a full Girard accomplishment on the awning package over the slides that come out, and they make the rails so they match. Works out very nicely, so you have full continuity in the coach. 
And if you notice the color scheme as I come back a little bit, it's just amazing. Wow. Guys, Numar, you did a great job on that color scheme. I like it. Now I'm going to guess, fellas, this is your job, but it can't be. Who knows, you might find whoever wants to do the job, it's all here. Comes with a macerator. As I always point out with the macerator, when you pull it out and you hit the switch, don't take the piece off and point it at you. It's a good experience. I watched someone do that. It is rather funny now, but they weren't loving it. It was kind of a crappy situation, if you know what I mean. What we did is we took the soap, threw it on them, and rinsed them off. It still was an experience. But again, you've got filtered water here for the whole coach. You have an outside shower to rinse off. You have the power reel for your water. And you've got your touch here for your screen. You've got your black and gray tank valve openings here. And you can fill with city water. You have your black tank rinse, your gray tank, because sometimes even your gray, your gray tank needs a little extra freshening up. 150 gallons of fresh, plenty of water to go where you want to go. If you notice with the, with the door, because you've got your slide here, it comes up and they made it that way so you don't ding your door when the slide comes out and drops. Little things Newmar does and it stays shut. You've got your 50 amp service, extra plug-ins. You pull it out, you put it through here. So again, you don't get any visitors up through your power cord. Little extra storage space for other things you want to bring in. Works out rather nicely. You have plenty of room for stuff. I still haven't figured out what stuff, but you'll figure that out and I can help you with that. Just remember, I'm always here to help. Um, I've got customers that call me with issues with their coach. I hate to tell everybody, but I'm our least mechanical guy here, but I know how to troubleshoot. So I'm always there to, to assist. I've got my cell phone on. I might not answer at three o'clock in the morning, but in the morning when I get up, I'll give you a holler and I'll direct you to the right place. It's one of the things that I try to do. Yes, it does have the new lithium package, big batteries with the big lithium. So you, you got the dual inverters here, two, three thousands. You can run one AC on it. Works out very nicely that Numar upgraded and we're getting most of them in with the heavy duty package on the lithium and on the extra inverter. Works out amazingly great. More of your stuff on the coach. You've got your air, you've got your DEF, you've got your big fuel tank, 150 gallons of fuel. Again, they have it, they made it big enough so it's not an issue, you can get to where you wanna go. You've got extra air chucks you can plug into for inner tubes and things. Works out rather nicely. Again, the other part of your tank. People have asked me on occasion, can I get up and get in the thing? So I always show them, and I'm not as young as I look. I know everyone's a little bit amazed about that, but I'm older than you think. I'm not as old as Frank, but I'm an older guy. Frank's a customer of mine, he's just a young fella. I remember when I met him, he was 93. Still drives a diesel pusher motor home. He's gonna be 95 soon. Amazing gentleman. I'm hope I'm half as active as he is at his young age. He said keep camping, it keeps you young. If you notice, you have an air on your chair, and to get up and in, not too complicated. Easy to get up and in. And then getting out, again not so complicated. Even I can get up and in the thing. 
there was a time it was marginal. Again, you've got the bigger tires up front, 365s added more stability. You've got the bigger mirrors out on the outside, top one all the way back, this one below, so you can see everything. And I'll give it a shot to try and open it. We got to look at the engine. Let's see what I can do. I haven't done this in a while. Hey, it is an engine. Detroit diesel, a DD13. Easy to get to. One of the nice things about the Super C and the big engine, you can go to any truck place and have it looked at. We offer full service here as well with TransWest. We have a full chassis shop. If they needed to replace an engine, it's not out of their realm to do so because we've done it in the past. But you can pull anywhere in the country, Canada, Alaska, wherever you're going, there's always a place to get a truck serviced. That works out nicely. They don't have to pull off a back radiator, but they can get to it. It can be serviced properly, easily, not complicated. Now, I say that, I have no idea how to service the coach, but we have very good folks on the other lot that know everything about it, and we have folks on this side in our service department that can take care of the inside of the coach. Now, I'm gonna try without breaking it to put the lid down, but we see everything, real engine, no problem, big block. See if I can do this without breaking it, and myself. Again, one side in, got your camera up front so it'll take pictures for you for when people want to slow down and it's their fault and not yours, it's on the camera. Then to lock the other one in, in. And I haven't broke it yet, which is amazing. I've got the slides in. Again, you have an awning up top. I'll bring the slides out so you can see the entire coach on the inside and how they equipped it, which is very amazing. Come on in, let's go for a look. This one's the 4530. You've got the upgraded stairs on the coach. If there was a curb here, it has a sensor to lay on top. And of course you have a screen. Works out rather nicely. And on the coach here, got a 14K payload. Very nicely done. Let me show you the inside. Another camera. You've got the step cover so you don't trip, fall, and break your neck when you're in the coach. But come on up. Let me show it to you. And I'll put out some slides. All your, most of your, in, is right here for the awnings for your slide to lock and unlock for your Gerard awning. So we'll start putting out a few slides. If you notice, there's no carpet in the coach. So the boss, other than the front, and it opens right up. And this one just drops and lays in place. That one's the chain-driven hydraulic slide that they got together with HWH and made that amazingly heavy-duty slide. And it drops down in place, nice and easy. On this one, you've got the opposing sofas, the love seat in the small L shape. That's a bed, which I'll show you. Then you've got the booth here, which pulls out. You can put in a leaf or it comes with two leaves. You can add the extra chairs, make very comfortable seating for when you have company. And all that is underneath the bed. Let me put out the backslide so you can get an idea of the coach. 
I think I set the AC to Arctic Tundra. It's freezing in here. It's funny, the weather today is supposed to be 95 and a lot of the people I work with think that's hot. Where I'm coming from, which is in the desert in California, I apologize, he asked him from California. But um, when we're at 115, 120, that's warm. But it's a dry heat. It's hot, but it's a dry heat. That's what everyone tells me. All the slides are out. As you look through the coach, you've got the sunshade that's down, and that can come up. You just push a button. You've got storage up front. You've got your extra screen to control the coach. Your silver leaf system. And that goes through the entire coach. There's one here, one in the back. You can check the entire coach. You can set your climate control, the auto gen start. Everything's on the coach that you can you need to go through. Most of it's here. And there's one in the back. Little cubby hole for extra things. I don't know what things, but you'll figure it out. And again, up top. And then for this to open, I actually figured this out. And theoretically, it works. So you can have that all the way open. You can have it closed off to keep the sun out. On a nice, cool day like we're having now up until the afternoon, it'd be great to have that open. Got a little spot for a flask. Actually, you can put a bigger flask in there if you wanted to. Got to have room for the spirit, so to speak. But on this one, you've got your bed here for company. Now, if you like your company, you just pull it out and leave it the way it is. If you don't want company to stay, well, if you put a couple of rocks or maybe a branch in there, that gets company out of here very quickly. It's not complicated. Again, it's, it's a pullout, so I'm sure we all know how to use one. But when you come in here, I'll be happy to take you through each and everything. You've got nice upgraded villa furniture in the coach. It's on all of their furniture. You've got the nicer seats up in the pilot and the co-pilot. You have the adaptive cruise control. So if you're coming upon someone, yeah, yes, you can run them over in this thing. Not a good idea. Your insurance might go up although you really might want to sometimes. But it'll tell you to slow down if there's someone there and behind. Works out rather nicely. Indestructible Allison transmission. Again, the coach will get you where you want to go. You're not going to have any issue going up and down the hills, especially here in Colorado. Works out rather nice. You got a Bose sound bar up top. Place to put in if you're going to get a satellite dish, although it seems like a lot of people are streaming now. And there's whatever service you want to use. Toll Starlink works pretty well, especially if you're working on the road. So if you're out in the middle of the dunes or whatnot, having a blast and one of you have to work, which is unfortunate, you can get the internet, you can do what you need to do, and then you get back out there and have a blast. Because these are about having fun and going and doing the things you want to do. And you get to bring your family if you want to. TV's on a televator. You push the button on one of the touch screens, which are all over the coach. That'll bring the TV down. I'll show it to you here. Go into systems. See, I told you guys I didn't break it yet. They all yell at me because I break stuff. I'm sure we'll get out of here and I'm sure I'll have something broken, but we'll figure that out. Plugs are easily found all over the coach. So you got USB plugs, you've got standard plugs. Works out rather nicely because we all have all the cell phones and iPads and tablets and everything else we bring. You have a place to plug them in. Very nicely done. Plus you have storage up top for your stuff. Allow me. Plenty of room to put things up and in here that you need to, things you need to bring with you. You've got the comfortable booth with a little storage underneath. You've got the pullouts underneath. And they give you a little bit of storage on each one. 
I know it's not the farm in Texas storage, but it's a little bit extra that you always have. You can put placemats, you can put whatever things you want to put in there. And these are ultra, ultra comfortable. We'll probably have to try that out a little bit. Showed you the table pulls out. Then if you look at here, you've got some pretty good counter space. You've got the double sinks. These come out. No, they're not a weapon, although they could be. You've got a place to put them underneath. You've got room underneath for the things you want to put in the coach. That works out rather nicely. And if you notice in the back, there's a place to put them. They slide right in and they stay. Again, Numar added extra things to make sure that things aren't wibble wobbling around and they stay. You've got the trash can. You've got a place to put all your cleaning stuff here. And guys, you got to help with the cleaning too. And a place to put your sponges and the little thing for your dishwasher soap right there. You have a dishwasher here. Now I know people keep on telling me they can cook salmon in there, but I don't know you want to do that regularly. That might be a little different. I'll put this one back. Fits right on in. Place for the coffee maker. I don't know about you, but I need at least one or two cups of coffee in the morning just to get going. And in this one here, you've got your induction cooktop. So yes, you have to get those specially done pans and pots that you can use on the induction. And this does come out. You can take it out. You can bring it outside so you can cook your fish outside. Or like most everyone, they have a barbecue outside. And if you need a good recipe on your steak and on your fish, be happy to help you. Just call me anytime and I'll walk you through a recipe. I love to cook. You've got your dishwasher here. Pulls out at your fish or pakel. A lot of folks will put their pots and pans inside. Another place to put everything. It works out rather nicely. I'll need my 23-year-old to help me with all the clickers to get those set up. Thank God she still talks to me. We're real close, my daughter. But you have all the clickers you need. You've got the bow sound. You've got everything right here. Then you take those. And then, of course, they all disappear. It's one thing my dad always had. Where's the darn clicker? But that's all right. You've got the convection microwave. That fits right in. Oh, there's also an easy place to find your cutting board. It's right on the coach. Then you take your lemon or your lime and clean it up. Works out rather nicely. Got the little bit larger. Now you can fit an entire turkey breast in there. Not a whole turkey, but a turkey breast. Then up top again, you've got more room for the things you want to bring with you. Put your plates up top. This actually pulls out. And for the vertically challenged folks like my sister who's 4'10 and 3 quarters, that extra 3 quarters is everything to her. She keeps telling me she's over 5 foot. I said, Amy, the poofy hair doesn't count. But it works out funny. I'll get you a step stool. That'll go right along with the coach because we got to make sure you can get to everything. Little room for more little things. Then you have room here as well. Got your drawer for other stuff that you want to put in for your maybe your tongs or your every whatever else you want to bring. As we go back through the coach, You've got a nice Whirlpool refrigerator. It's not the biggest in the industry, but certainly adequate with the extra cooler underneath. It'll fit everything that you want in the coach. Plus it has a filter, which is great to have. And you've got your controls outside. Works out nicely. Underneath, you've got your ice maker. Someone told me it's five o'clock somewhere. So you have that made for you, ready for you. You've got room for everything that you need inside your refrigerator for all the things that you're going to bring. And there's plenty of room for extra ice cream. Nice pantry. You push to release, they come out. You've got the full adjustable. And on the bottom you can put cookie sheets and pans underneath that slide in place. 
That was a nice addition that Newmar did. Works out rather well. I've had a few people call me and say, Steve, you're right, they do fit in there. I said, I know a little bit. All right, maybe I know a little more. Someone asked me what to do with this one, and I said, that's a very good question. You've got room for cans or things. Big cubby hole there. Put things on the bottom, and you can put a broom, I guess. Well, that's where your Swiffer's going to go, so you can do your floors easily enough. Central vac unit included on the coach. And that'll, there's a cord that goes in, reaches through the entire coach. We have the commode, the half bath. Plenty of room in there. They've got lights in the mirrors that works out rather nicely. And again, there's counter space. You can put things down like a shaver or for the ladies when they have all of their products to put in their hair if you do that. And for you fellas that use them too. But again, they have room in here and it's easy to get in. Place you can find this easily enough for your fuse panel and your electrical. Again, easy to find, easy to maintain. You've got your shades here, which I'll demonstrate up in the front. Room to put more stuff with an extra plug and your piece here that changes your lights. Fan up above, air conditioning coming in, and heat in here as well, so you don't freeze. Oh, cool. Medicine cabinet. Plenty of room for everything that you need. And yes, I can get in and out of there. It's not that complicated. You have actually, when you shut the door and you're in, you actually have a little bit of room in there. So you can do your business. Got your double door that slides across for your privacy. You've got hanging closet here. That's the other panel for your silver leaf that controls the whole coach. Awnings you put out here over your window. That's for your slide mechanism. That's your other slide is here. That's your third slide. You get the king bed. It's not a cow king. It's a standard king. But there's enough room for two and the four-legged friends and grandkids if you need. Works out rather nicely. Plus there's storage underneath. So your extra leaves for your table, your extra chairs are all easy to find. You can get into underneath. There's the me mechanical right there. Got a couple of customers that they put a few other things in there. I don't remember exactly what they put, but I'm sure you can figure out something. But again, it's a standard king, not a cow king. Easy to find bedding for the coach, your sheets and things that you need. And then it just comes down nice and easy as I slam it shut and then that goes back on top you have windows on both sides speakers are built in up up top you've got your grommet here that if you need a sleep apnea machine again Newmar does things they've already incorporated into the coach they understand who might be buying it there's a plug right in the middle so you can put the machine up you can hang the wires down here. Now you don't string them around your partners because they've been snoring for God knows how long. This is supposed to help the situation. That works out rather nicely. So you have plenty of room for more storage. You can even put two machines if you had to because there's a grommet on the other side. You've got a panel underneath to turn the lights down. Again, they have everything where it's supposed to be. Makes it a lot easier works out rather well. Plenty of lights so you can see everything. You have lights underneath for reading in bed. Again, they thought of a lot of things that, you know, maybe you're going to read, you're just going to relax. You have a TV here. Oh, we can put a couple more flasks here too. Plenty of room for more stuff underneath. Place to put your cell phone or iPad, your glasses. Little things. Again, they were thinking around the coach. Your hanging closet. Fellas, you get about half of that if you're lucky. Ladies, you've got one and a half to put things in, plus you have some room in the back, and I'll show you that as well. Again, little things. You got a nice thick bar to hang everything on. It's not just gonna fall. 
they're screwed in the extra carpet that goes with the coach but little things that they do and they're all lit just like the exterior all your storage is lit inside is lit so you get to see everything and you get to see what's inside your coach the drawers yes I'm from back east I say drawers and I ask for coffee you can fit stuff in it I mean you're not going to fit everything from the house but you can fit the things you need you got room for socks and your particulars and shirts and sweatshirts whatever you want to put and they're self-closing the other side of the hanging closet so you have room for more stuff works out rather nicely one of the things that we do here at Trans West which is nice a lot of dealers talk about doing a pre-delivery inspection we actually do one they actually tech over the coach even though it's brand new a lot of dealers just give you the keys and say thanks folks appreciate you uh, we'll see you when we see you we actually before all that's done we go through the coach they spend the time the chassis the engine is looked after it's gone through the top that Newmar did is gone through it's not that we're expecting to find everything wrong with it it's that there's always something as we all know if you've had a motor home. This way, if we can do the troubleshooting and it's here at, at the shop, we'll get it corrected before you're on your trip. I'm not saying you're never gonna have an issue when you go on your trip because we all know better than that, which I'll explain about your, your toolbox in a few. But we try to go through the coach and I see what they do and it's amazing to me coming where I come from, from the other dealer. Um, they systematically go through it all. They go through the chassis, they go through the brakes, they go through the whole coach and make sure it's right for you. And then when Wade takes you through the coach, he systematically for two, three, four hours, whatever you need, to make sure you become an expert on the coach. I know you just get in and go, you have a blast and think about it all later, but this is a lot of coach and you need, if you want the class, we also have a place we can park you that's down a little ways. You can plug in a 50 amp service. We'll park your coach right next to you. So that way it's easy for you to move your stuff back and forth. Again, it's not just a 10 minute process when you're buying this much coach. If you're buying any coach from us, we wanna make sure you're happy, you're taken care of, the coach is right. If there's anything that needs to be done, well, you're in our store, you're in our shop. We're gonna take care of it. We're gonna get it corrected. We'll get a service tech on it as soon as humanly possible. We'll get you parked out there so you can relax for a few and you can enjoy some time relaxing and we'll get it taken care of and then get you back on the road. And when you need service, we got one of the biggest service facilities that I've seen in a while. Big chassis department on the cross the street. They do the big rigs, they do any motor homes, they do the, the engines, the chassis, everything across street. On this side, we have a building that's got a bunch of stalls for them to fix the coaches. So again, we can get you in, get you out, and get you happy in camping. Because I know the last thing you want to do is be sitting in the service department, not knowing what's going on. So we try to give you updates, get you in, get you out, get you on the road. Let me take in the back area here, if I may. Don't need to look at that anymore. Got plenty of storage here. You've got emergency exit there. Hanging closet, fellas, this is hers, so don't even think about it. Nice big drawers to throw your socks or your particulars in, whatever you want. You have a safe to hide whatever you have left. And again, you've got an extra place here to maybe throw a hat, shoes, whatever you prefer. If you also notice, you have lights in there so you can actually see what you're doing. Because the eyes aren't quite as good as they used to be. We're not discussing my hearing. We're not going there. You've got a shower. Now, fellas, if you're a tall fella, you want to make sure you duck because you'll do that twice, the second or third time's a charm. And you, you have room in here. You have a little bit of elbow room. You've got a grab hold here. You've got place to do 
Here you can sit down, you've got the wand, but you have room in here that you can do what you want to do. And you've got the, so you don't have to waste as much water. You've got the piece here, your drains here, very tastefully done. And again, it's a nice accommodating shower. I didn't even lock myself in. Lights on the mirror, very elegant. Air conditioning comes in, full lights. You've got heat that comes in on the bottom. By the way, I forgot to touch on the heating system on the coach. You have three. You have your Oasis hydronic heating system. You have heated floors on the coach and you have heat pumps. Your three ACs will act down to 40 to 42 degrees. That'll heat up your coach. If it's colder, obviously you can use the heating element on the flooring. Then you have your Oasis, which circulates coolant through the coach to heat it up. That also, if you want to take an extended hot shower, you can do that without a problem. You have 150 gallons of fresh water. Stackable washer dryer included in the coach, so you can actually do your laundry. It's a great place to call that your hamper. Works out well. The emergency exit, I pray no one ever has to use it. Well, I did have one customer. I don't know how he locked himself in the coach. That's still up in the air. But he got out. I don't know what he did to the front door, but he said, Steve, I don't know what I did. I said, okay, Rick. But he got out. The ladder dropped down, and he got out without a problem. Plenty of room. Exhaust fan for when you're showering. You've got the privacy door here. They're going to tell me I broke it again. Oh, perfect. Anyway. As we're moving forward, you have a lot of room in the coach. You have all the amenities that you want. You can pull the big load behind you in the coach. You pull up to 30,000 pounds, as I mentioned. You've got the big Detroit diesel. You have the warranties on the coach. You have the one year bumper to bumper. You've got the chassis warranty, 60 month, 100,000 miles. And then you've got the Detroit warranty, which is two years unlimited, and then it becomes limited up to five. So they have everything taken care of on the coach, and they make sure that you can go where you want to go. And as far as us being the dealer that we'd like you to come talk to, again, my name is Steve. Um, I'm the new guy here. But this is a lot of coach when you want to go have fun and go play in the desert. You want to go play wherever you want. You want to pull your stack or trailer behind you because you got the dualies, the double dualies in the back that are going to push you down the road. You've got the big engine, the big chassis. You have an amazing interior on the coach. So you have everything that you want. We'll help you with the stacker trailer to make sure it gets connected properly. You have a full service department. TransWest has been around next to forever. We're not going anywhere. It's a nice feeling working here and you have the owners of the company that come show up and we see them. It's nice to have. And of course we have our general manager, sales manager, We've got a full service department here. We have truck servicing throughout the country. So we're here to help. We don't just give you the keys and just give you the boot right out. We're trying to help you here. Um, let me walk you up to the front again. These are comfortable, wow. You can get the extra things that you want on the coach. You have the panel up top. I mean, it has everything that you need. I promise to show you as I come up here. You hit your shades, and theoretically, they work. There it is. Come down. There it goes. There's your day shade. So you can block out the sun if you want. Then you have your night shade right here. So for at, at night, no one can be seeing in your coach for your privacy. But it has everything that most everyone seems to want. And anything that you want to add, we have again, full service department that can assist you, parts department. 
the coach has gone through before you take it home. And then you can call me should there be an issue. You can try and pick what's left of my brains. A walkthrough person is a lot of help. Got a fella named Bill here. And he's always helpful. He knows the coach better than most. He's there to assist you. So we have a lot of things here that we can offer you when it comes to working with Trans West. We're going to be there for you. We're not going anywhere. And we want you happy with your decision and your coach. We'll take about anything in on trade. We take cars, boats, motorcycles, quads. Might take kids, sisters. We'll talk about that. But once again, if you you want the right coach, you want the right dealer to be there to help you out, we're there for you on the road. We're not just here to make the quick sale and be gone. We have a lot of repeat business here for that reason. We try to do what we're able to do. And um, if I can help you, like I said, I'm the new guy. My name is Steve. Probably my, my cell phone number flashing up there, my email address. I'll answer any question I can. I learned a lot from a lot of other people. This fella named Bruce I learned a lot from, a little shout out. Thank you for helping me. But um, enjoy the rest of your day. We're going to have it beautiful weather here. And thank you for your patience. Enjoy your day.